Hi everyone, my name is Nick, and in this episode of C++ Crash Course, we're going to be going over a very interesting topic, which is uh, in functions, the difference between passing something by value and passing something by reference. Now, up to this point in the two videos that we've done on functions, we've been passing everything by value. So just to remind you, let's, or just to look it up, Let's go to our functions.cpp and actually explain what that means. So when we pass something by value, what we do is we copy the value to a new variable. So in this case, we copy the value of, in our function call, say to print char, we copy the value of character right here into this value right here. So we perform this memory copy implicitly. We don't do it explicitly. We don't have to manage that. See, uh, the compiler does this for us. Uh, but we're actually copying memory right here. And so that's why you know, we can go in here and we can do actually whatever we want to see, but it does not change the value on the outside. So we could you know, make you know, character equal B, C, D, capital Z, lowercase f. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change this value of character unless we specifically return some value from that function and set character equal to it. Now, this is fine in some cases, but when we think about it, if we have lots of function calls and lots of parameters, that means we're having to copy large of amounts of memory every single time. So it makes sense if we're going to be, say, manipulating data. So maybe if we do want to modify this character variable and not have to do a copy in and then copy a new value back out, it makes sense to maybe just have a single uh, variable that we're working with. And that leads us to this idea of pass by uh, passed by reference. So we're referencing one variable instead of copying values. So let's go ahead and open our example as always. This, this time it will be this PBV PBR, so pass by value and pass by reference dot CPP. And we'll go ahead and go in here. And we see we have two functions. We have a function that looks pretty similar that computes a product that's a pass by value function. So we pass in an integer a, an integer b, and then an integer p for product. Then we set product equal to a times b. Then we print out product. And we don't return anything from this function. So we're not passing anything back. We're just doing a simple multiplication. That's it, and printing something out. And then we have one that looks a little bit different. And we're going to see a new symbol that you know, we talked about previously was for something like log, uh, doing uh, a bitwise and, but it's this and symbol right here. And so we have this multiply PBR, so pass by uh, reference instead of value. And that's where this and thing comes in. This and symbol in this context is used, to, is used for the, it's called the address of operator a lot of times. So what this says is instead of passing in you know, a new variable or something that we're going to copy to, I'm actually passing in a reference. I'm passing in the address of an existing variable. And so I'm going to do that for A, B, and P. And then I'm going to do the exact same multiplication and print something out. And what we'll see is that product, in this case, P, will get updated in the main function, while after this pass by value, when we do this product, it does not update the main function. Because remember, in pass by value, we are copying values and working on completely separate pieces of memory. While in pass by reference, we're copying the address of this original variable and we're working on that original piece of memory. So what will we print out? So we'll call this pass by value, we'll do 5 times 10. So we'll pass in 5, 10, and a product initialized to 0. And so in this case, it will just copy all those values, compute the multiplication, and then return nothing. And in this case, 
we'll do a call by reference to the other function. We don't need to do anything special. The call remains exactly the same. And we'll pass in multiplier, multiplicand, and product, which are all should be the same value. And then we'll check to see what the product is on the outside now. So remember, we're setting the product equal to zero. We're claiming that in pass by value, after the function executes, even though product updates in the function, it doesn't affect this product in main because like we said, we're copying that value. We're not changing the value. And then we're also claiming that here after this pass by reference, product in the scope of this main function will be updated. So let's go ahead and try this out. As always, we will do G plus plus dash O for our output file. We'll call it PBV PBR for pass by value, pass by reference. And then we'll put in the C plus plus file, All right? No compilation errors. Good on us. We've got our green executable right here. We'll go ahead and execute it. And let's go ahead and examine the output. So we have from the pass by value function, we set product equal to 50. But after the function returns, we see that product in the scope of the main function is still zero. So like we said, all we did was copy the value. We're not changing the original piece of memory. We're working on a new piece of memory. And when a function returns, all of that memory gets released. So it's gone after that. It's purely for the life of that function. We'll see cases where that isn't the case where the memory actually sticks around. But for now, uh, with these simple cases, it gets freed or it gets unallocated after the function exits or returns. Then we do pass by reference. This time, we're working on a single set of variables. So when we pass in P for product and then A and B, the multiplier and the multiplicand, those are the actual variables from the main function. And we see that we calculate the correct product of 10 times five within the, uh, within the function, just like we did in the pass by value version. But this time, when we change product in that function, it changed in the scope of the main function. So like I said, this can be incredibly powerful because we don't have to do a lot of useless copying around where we can maintain a single set of variables. Now, when can this lead you into trouble? Uh, we'll leave a lot of that to a later time, but you can imagine some scenarios where you're trying to figure out who's modifying what variables. And so you may be assuming that a function is working on its own copy of variables, but it's actually working on references of variables in the main function, uh, for example. So that's going to do it for this example today. Let's go ahead and as always, this is our GitHub page for the C++ Crash Course series uh, on the Coffee Before Arch wiki, or not wiki, a GitHub page. Um, then we have the C++ Crash Course repository or repo. And then in this repo, we have uh, a readme that has links to all the YouTube videos that will be uploaded and then all the code that's presently uploaded. If you want to get in contact uh, with me for, you know, clarification on something or a, uh, or any video content that you would like, uh, feel free to go here. For any of my other series and videos that are currently in the works, you can check that out on this updated Google Sheets. Here's the environment that I use uh, to do these videos. And as always, hope you guys have a nice day.